Hi everyone, I'm Joe and I'm going to be leading you through the Scholarships and PLUS programs webinar today. Thanks for joining us. We're going to cover a few different topics today, including some of the many scholarships available to you as a Brock student. We offer a number of scholarships that are automatically awarded based on your academic achievements, while others are just a quick application away. Following that, we're going to take an in-depth look at a couple of our co-curricular PLUS programs, Law PLUS and Med PLUS, and you'll get to hear from current students in both programs and learn how to join in on these great experiences. We'll conclude today's webinar with a live Q&A session, so please send us your questions during the webinar and we'll answer them for you at the end. You can submit them through the chat on YouTube, or if you're on the webinar page on Discover Brock, you can submit it through the form underneath the video. But first, let's take a look at the different scholarships Brock has to offer. How to apply for awards and bursaries at Brock University. This year, Brock has pledged over $4 million to our awards programs for new students. Our Brock Scholars Awards are automatic and range from $4,000 to $16,000 for new full-time students. Other automatic awards are available for specific programs and for specialized curriculums, such as International Baccalaureate and Specialist High Skills majors. At Brock, there is no limit to how many scholarships a student may receive. Hundreds of awards and bursaries are available with just one application, the One App. Haven't applied for any awards yet? Don't worry, we're here to help. Oh, and make sure you fill out the One App before it closes on May 1st. Entrance awards are based on a combination of factors, including academic achievement. These awards range in value up to $20,000. Bursaries are available to students who demonstrate financial need. You may qualify for a bursary valued up to $3,000. All you have to do is fill out the One App. First, log into your my.brocky.ca student portal. If you haven't activated your student portal yet, use your student number or campus ID to do so. These can be found on either the email you received after applying to Brock or on your offer of admission. From the Applicant and Student Self-Serve page, click on the One App Scholarship and Bursaries application link. And that's it! Well, almost. You still need to fill out the application, but once that's done, you'll be put into the running for any and all awards and bursaries you're qualified for. Oh, and one last thing. Are you an exceptional student? Chances are you're eligible for our most prestigious award, the Brock Leader Citizenship Society. These awards are reserved for students with high academic standing who have demonstrated exceptional leadership in their school and community. These awards require an additional application, but are well worth your while. For more information on these prestigious awards and the Brock University One app, visit brocku.ca slash discover slash awards. Just a few additional notes on student awards. Be sure to note the deadlines for these scholarships and apply early. This year's deadline to complete the One App and apply to the BLCS is May 1st. Now let's take a look at two of the co-curricular programs that Brock has to offer students interested in pursuing studies in the legal field or healthcare. Off to you, Pam. Welcome everyone. My name is Pam Isaac and I'm a member of the PLUS programs team at Brock University. Today, I'll be sharing details regarding the Law PLUS and Med PLUS programs available to all Brock students. We'll cover the core components of a PLUS program, share more specific details about each program, then provide you with the information you need regarding how to apply and where to go for more information. There are a number of core or fundamental components which make up a PLUS program. These include guest speaker sessions with professionals. These could be doctors, lawyers, community leaders, or other experts with knowledge to share. Sometimes students also attend observationals where their PLUS program level visits a community organization or business to learn hands-on about careers in a specific area. For example, Law PLUS students have visited the St. Catharines Courthouse and the Med PLUS students have visited the Hotel Du Shaver Rehabilitation Center. Skill development workshops. These include everything from career education, academic support, and program-specific competencies. Between guest speaker and skills sessions, students are required to attend two to four hours of PLUS programming each week with breaks for midterms and exams. Program advising appointments are made with the PLUS program advisor one to two times per year and assist students with career planning and wellness support. Mentorship opportunities for senior level students support new incoming level one PLUS program students. This unique component is one of the most loved aspects of a PLUS program. New students instantly have a knowledgeable peer they can look to for support and friendship. 
job shadowing of professionals around Niagara for half or full day opportunities to learn from community experts. Volunteer placements, including a minimum 50 hours per academic year with support from the PLUS programs team. All students are given a roster of on and off campus opportunities over the summer to consider. And students typically volunteer two to three hours per week, gaining skills and experience to enhance their career profiles. Networking opportunities with speakers in the community and across campus. As you can see, PLUS programs provide a great deal of opportunity for students to meet with and engage professionals during their academic year and often beyond. And finally, application and professional school preparation. All PLUS program students are provided with detailed ongoing support to meet their goals, whether it's med school, law school, or any of the abundance of allied careers, you will be supported throughout your application process. PLUS program students are afforded these opportunities to learn and grow both on campus and off, thanks to a variety of community partnerships. We're really grateful for the community support. And now a little about Law Plus. Law Plus is a four-year co-curricular program designed for students interested in pursuing careers in public and private law, policy, government, and the justice system. Enrollment is currently limited to 30 students annually. There are a variety of potential career pathways, including becoming a lawyer or politician, a judge, a sports agent, perhaps working in the area of foreign affairs or restorative justice. In 2019-2020, the first ever Law Plus cohort had a fantastic year. They completed over 350 hours of volunteer work at such places as the John Howard Society, Brock International, and Southridge Shelter. They interacted with more than 20 law professionals, including legal aid, criminal law, research, and restorative justice. They participated in 11 skill building workshops, including reflective practice, mediation, study skills, and LSAT prep, and they even visited the courthouse and law library in downtown St. Catharines. Hi there, my name is Jacqueline and I'm a part of the Law Plus program. I'm in my first year of business administration at Brock and I have an interest in commercial law. Law Plus is a co-curricular program, which means that it doesn't have any graded assignments. This was a major benefit to me because I could focus on learning and developing my skills without the added stress of academic performance. Another major benefit is the sessions every week. They fit into your schedule just as a lecture would, but they end up being just two hours to take a break from your coursework to develop your interests. Overall, Law Plus has been a great opportunity for me to network and build on my skills. I've participated in sessions that opened my eyes to new opportunities as well as skills that I didn't even know I had, all while getting the chance to meet and develop relationships with fellow students with similar interests as well as some staff who've been able to provide me with invaluable advice. Hey Badgers, my name is Bianca Colalilo and I'm currently a second year psychology student here at Brock. This past year I've been so fortunate to be part of Brock's new Law Plus program. Law Plus has been so beneficial to me because it allows me to connect with lawyers as well as other legal professionals, which I would have not been able to do without this program. Law Plus has allowed me to become extremely educated in law, further develop my professional communication skills, and make great relationships that I will never forget. Personally, I believe Law Plus is so valuable because it opens so many doors for undergraduate students looking to pursue a career in law. If you are interested in joining our Law Plus program, please don't hesitate. You never know where this opportunity may take you. Take care and we look forward to seeing you in September. Now that you've learned a little about the Law Plus program, let me tell you about MedPlus. MedPlus is a four-year co-curricular program designed for students interested in pursuing careers in healthcare, including medical school and allied health professions. Career pathways vary from medical school to become a medical doctor, to chiropractic, naturopathy, midwifery, and even child life specialist. If you're interested in pursuing a career in healthcare, the MedPlus program is right for you. The MedPlus program currently accepts 60 new students annually. From 2015 to 2019, we're super proud to say we had a 93.4% graduate success rate. So whether the students wanted to pursue professional healthcare programs, 
graduate level education or career related employment, we were able to support their dreams and their goals. In 2019-2020, 158 MedPlus students completed over 8,880 volunteer hours at 258 placements in 87 community organizations. How amazing is that? We also had 36 full day job shadows completed inside hospitals and in community healthcare organizations across Niagara. Hi, my name is Madeline. I'm in my third year of the Medical Sciences program at Brock, as well as a student in MedPlus and an assistant to the program. The main benefit of being in a PLUS program is the opportunity to get to know peers who have a similar mindset and similar goals that you do, as well as networking with professionals in the healthcare field. My favorite component of the program by far is the job shadowing component. Here, students get the opportunity to spend a day one-on-one -on -one with a healthcare professional of their choice and really see the ins and outs of what that job entails. My favorite sessions are the workshop sessions, particularly the ethical workshop sessions. Here, we're given a medical ethical scenario and my peers and I collaborate to come to a conclusion of what we would do in that case. This really helps me to prepare for interviews, applications, and professional schools. I'm so thankful I chose Brock in Med Plus. It's given me so much experience and has really helped give me a competitive edge moving forward to my future. Hi, my name is Brent and I'm a third year student in medical sciences and I am in my third year of Med Plus as well. And um, for me, Med Plus has really allowed me to explore the healthcare field and that's what um, the biggest benefit has been for me as well. Um, because I came in really as a blank slate. I wasn't really sure what areas of healthcare um, I wanted to work in. I wanted to explore, you know, um, medical school routes and allied healthcare professions and research. And that was something I was able to do through my volunteering at the hospital um, with the Brock Niagara Penguins wheelchair basketball team, through job shadows I've done with physicians and allied healthcare professionals like physiotherapists, occupational therapists. Um, and so, for me, I have settled on speech language pathology, which was something that was totally not on my radar before. And I was able to make that discovery through MedPlus. Hi everyone, my name's Sophia and I'm in my second year of neuroscience at Brock University. I think the most valuable part of the MedPlus program is all of the knowledge and resources you have access to. Coming into the program, I didn't know exactly what career I wanted to pursue. So by networking with medical professionals and doing job shadows, I've now learned that I want to apply to med school. I have regular appointments with the career advisor through MedPlus to talk about different volunteer opportunities and the parts of the med school application that I can be doing in advance. So it's not a rush right at the due date. It's kind of like a support group that's there to make sure you're checking all of those boxes that need to be checked in order to reach your end goal. Now you've learned a little about law and MedPlus. Do you want to apply? We hope so. The deadline for applications for both PLUS programs is May 1st. In order to apply, you'll need to register on our website and provide the following information. Number one, information about your current academic standing. High school applicants must have a minimum 80% academic average during grades 11 and 12. Applicants should be aware that a significantly higher academic average does improve the chances of admission to a PLUS program. Numbers two and three, short answer questions and an autobiographical sketch. The details required for these topic areas are available for you to review and edit prior to submission. Feel free to save your in-progress application in order to best respond to each and every question. And finally, PLUS program applicants are required to submit a letter of reference written by a non-family member. Ideally, this is someone who knows you well and can attest to your strengths, goals, and why you would be an excellent addition to the PLUS program family. Well, I think you have all the information you need. We really hope you'll consider the Law PLUS and Med PLUS programs as part of your Brock journey. Please visit our website www.brocku.ca slash medplus or slash law dash plus for all the information you need about the plus programs as well as the application forms. Don't forget the deadline to apply is May 1st. And if you have any questions at all, please email us. You can see the details of our email on this slide. We wish you all the best and we look forward to seeing you on campus this fall. Thanks everybody. Thanks so much, Pam.
We're just going to take a quick break to get all the answers to the questions that you've submitted already. And you can still submit questions either through the chat on the YouTube page or on the webinar page through the form. And uh, we'll be back in a few seconds with all of the answers. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. All right, we are back, and uh, thank you so much to everybody that is tuning in, and uh, thank you so much for all of the great questions. We're going to do our best to get to all of them, um, but if we don't get to your question, you can send us an email at futurestudent at brocku.ca, or you can uh, visit our website, brockuca slash discover, and contact us there. There's a contact form at the bottom of the page. Okay, so the first question that we have is... Does the BLCS only organize events at Brock, or do they work within the community as well? Okay, so the BLCS does both. They organize fundraisers in the community for various nonprofits, and they do various student spirit events. It's great for networking within the Brock community and Niagara community alike. Uh, they have partnerships within the Education Foundation of Niagara, Alzheimer's Society, nursing homes, and more. I hope that answers your question there. Um, just going to pull up the next question here. So the next question that we have is, sorry, bear with me a moment here, is should I apply to Med Plus even if I'm not sure I want to go on to med school later? So pull up the answer for that here. So absolutely, Med Plus will help you decide if med school is the next step for you and will expose you to a wide variety of healthcare careers. Okay, I hope that answers your question and thanks again for submitting that. Okay, our next question is, how does one qualify for need-based financial aid, and how long after submitting the One App do you know if you're awarded additional scholarships? So, some awards are given within a month after applying for the One App, and some take longer because they're all funded by different organizations or sponsors. Most of them are catered to students who apply on a need basis and are very supportive of first-year students. Okay. So I hope that answers your question there. And again, thank you so much for submitting that. Okay. I'm just going to pull up the next question here. Okay, so the question is, how do you apply to one app if you've already accepted your offer? So if you've accepted your offer and you have a student ID and email, you'll log into your my.brocky.ca student portal, and under the tab Undergraduate Awards and Financial Aid, you will see one app as an option. Through this portal, you'll enter details about yourself that may help you qualify for various awards that are specific to your area of study, interests, or experience. So again, you're just going to log into your my.brocky.ca portal, and you'll access the One App through there. Um, if you have more questions about that, the um, student awards video that we played earlier in the webinar is available on the Discover Brock website, and uh, that goes through the process of logging into my.brocky.ca and uh, accessing the One App. Okay, so the next question that we have is, if I don't get into Law Plus this year, am I able to apply again next year? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. Feel free to reach out to the Law Plus team for more information about reapplying next year. So you can apply next year, that is no problem there. Thanks again for that question. The next question is, I will be taking a full course load would it be manageable to join both BLCS and Law Plus? This is um, answer to that is it depends on if you and your time you and your time management skills. Being part of the BLCS is great because you have a community of people to help you manage your studies and extracurriculars. However, it does take a lot of self management and initiative. I'd recommend applying to both because their benefits and positive attributes are worth the extra work. Uh, for Law Plus, plan on an extra six hours of programming per week, including volunteerism. Each week there are two two-hour sessions that are required in including speakers and skill-based workshops. It's manageable, but it will require excellent time management. Uh, in addition, the BLCS requires 40 volunteer hours per year and Law Plus requires 50. These hours can cross over, so you only need to complete 50 hours per year total. So I think the long and the short of it is, it is possible, but your time management skills need to be very strong. Okay, so thank you so much for that question. I hope that answered it for you. 
And then the next question we have is, if you have applied, when should you expect to hear back about the MedPlus programming? Uh, we'll be communicating with applicants during the week of May 11th to the 15th. Um, the PLUS program team will review applications in early May, and students can expect to know more, or excuse me, can expect to know before Brock's acceptance deadline about whether they've gained acceptance into MedPlus. And I believe that's it for questions at the moment. Um, we're going to take a quick break just to see if any other questions trickle in. But hopefully that answered all of your questions there. And if we uh, haven't heard, it, heard anything, or even if we have, or have heard something, we'll come back and uh, thank you again for joining us. But uh, we'll be right back in just a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh, I don't believe that we have uh, any more questions to answer, but if you do have a question that has not been answered, uh, we'll be getting in touch with you with an answer as soon as we can after the stream. Um, if you do have a question that you want to submit after the stream is done, you can contact us by email at futurestudent at brocku.ca, or if you go to the Discover Brock website, brocku.ca slash discover, at the bottom of the page there is a contact form where you can submit your questions. Um, an archive of this video will be available on the Discover Brock site at brocku.ca slash discover slash webinar. And uh, you can review this at any time. And thank you so much for joining us for this webinar. And uh, we hope to see you at the next one. And stay safe out there. Bye, everyone.